Well, hello everyone. This is Byron King with Investor Intel. Today we are talking with Abraham Drost of Clean Air Metals Inc., uh, which is let's call it a platinum palladium play uh, in the center of Canada, north of uh, Lake Superior in that Thunder Bay district. Uh, hello, Abraham. For people who are just sort of new to the new to the sector, new to the field, whatever, what is Clean Air Metals? Where are you? What are you doing out there? Well, thanks, Byron. Uh, well, Clean Air Metals uh, is uh, symbol AIR on the TSX Venture, uh, CLRMF on the OTCQB. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, we uh, this is a two and a half year old company that was formed around the consolidation of two very promising platinum, palladium, copper, nickel assets. These are critical minerals. They're on the federal and provincial lists. And uh, we had the opportunity to buy these assets from Rio Tinto and Panoramic Resources for 15 million. They're extremely high grade. These are legendary deposits in the Thunder Bay District where I live. And so it was just a compelling opportunity to jump in with both feet. And, uh, you know, I uh, as CEO and uh, with my executive chairman, Jim Gallagher. So we've re we really got something here. OK, so if we if we look at a map of North America and we see the Great Lakes and there's Lake Superior up there, you got Minnesota on one side and kind of Michigan sort of to the south. And then that's right you know, Ontario and such to the north. So you're you're north of Thunder, of, of Lake Superior in the Thunder Bay mining uh, region. Is that correct? That's right. The project is a half hour from Thunder Bay up the, uh, what we call colloquially the Armstrong Highway or the Highway 527. It's the same road that Lac de Zeal, the Lac de Zeal mine is on in full scale production with Impella Platinum. But by the way, that was Jim's old mine. And so you're quite right. And uh, but all these this whole Lake Superior Basin that you just mentioned is copper nickel PG country. Mm -hmm. And uh, ours is the latest example. You have the Tamarack deposit with Talon Metals. You have uh, the uh, Generation Mining deposit, uh, Marathon PGM. And you have the Eagle deposit, uh, copper nickel PGs, copper nickel cobalt mm -hmm. with Lundin Mining uh, in Michigan. So this mm -hmm. is uh, copper PG, copper nickel PG central. Well, I would just add that it's also just north of the of, of North America's first mining boom in the Keweenaw Peninsula in the in the 1840s. It was copper uh, like this, this elemental copper from the yeah. Keweenaw that really was the was the copper that built you know the early America in the mid century of the 19th century there. Uh, and it all goes way 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 back into the Precambrian. There's a massive deep rift system under there. And I guess right. I guess we won't get into the geological weeds, although boy, we I'd can. love to. Uh, but but we're in the we're in the right part of the world geologically speaking. And you have you have a couple of people working for you who are very very solid geologists, highly knowledgeable about this. So you just just listen, sure. give, give their names and just give them a shout out, uh, just so that people can feel confident about you know the, yeah. the knowledge base you've got. Well, thanks for that, uh, Byron. Yeah, I mean, we built the team uh, from scratch. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, I mentioned Jim Gallagher. I should also mention Mike Garbett, who's a, a mining engineer of 25 years experience. They lead the technical charge on development. We're now in a pre-feasibility study with BBA Engineering and DRA Global. Mm -hmm. But um, also on the exploration side, we have uh, Dr. Jeff Heggie. Um, Jeff is a PhD in geology. He's an expert on the mid-continent rift, this system that created all these deposits. Uh, you know, he's full-time with Clean Air Metals, leading a, a, a team of very competent geologists. And they've put in, uh, since we, we you know, picked up these assets, they've put in 80,000 meters of drilling on top of the 180,000 meters that was done by um, Panoramic and uh, Rio Tinto before we got here. So we have a 260,000 meter database uh, that uh, you know, along with the assets we bought for 15 million uh, two years ago. And then most recently, uh, just as validation of everything we've done, we had triple flag precious metals mm -hmm. uh, come in and do a $15 million royalty uh, financing for two and a half percent NSR. Uh, you know, I don't like to put royalties on projects, but I thought this was a good strategic move for us because it demonstrated the production potential. And, uh, and that's really what we've been seeking to do with we, what were hitherto orphaned assets. Mm -hmm. Well, everything you have said is making my eyes water uh, for, the, for the viewers out there who aren't, you know, geologically inclined or whatever. 260,000 meters, I mean, I mean in, in one of the richest... Uh, uh, 
ore bearing zones in North America uh, in a historic area with with water or well, water of course Lake Superior, but with roads or right next to massive electrical transmission lines and what have you. Uh, and so, uh, so where where do things stand? You you've raised money. You 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 don't need to raise any more money in the next say year, do you? Look, we've raised fifty eight million dollars since inception two and a half years ago. Mm-hmm. We can raise money. The point is, before the triple flag facility, 15 million in December of 2022, uh, we raised 43 million, mostly flow through. Okay, Mm -hmm. now and part of the reason for the weakness in the equity, I believe, is the fact that that flow through is coming out. It's been coming at us thick and fast for the last three, four months. We think that's almost done. Mm -hmm. And so the point is, though, when you're a startup and you got drills turning, you take the money. Because and what was on offer and what is increasingly on offer on Bay Street and uh, in Canadian markets is not so much investment in companies as investment in tax shelters. Okay, people are looking for that 100 percent write off on their taxes. We get it. But at the end of the day, we were price takers. We're not price takers anymore. We now have an asset that we can leverage to fund uh, operations going forward. The royalties, the the most recent example, we have a 40% buy down on the triple flag facility. We have buy downs on the existing prospector royalties. But we can come, we can come in uh, with a royalty burden well under the royalty burden at Lac de Zeal by the time we come into production. So we're very comfortable with that. Okay. Well, we're going to end it here, but all I'll say to the viewers out there is that if you haven't looked at clean air metals, you should. It's a fabulous geological asset. It is in the right place. The infrastructure is there. This is not some, you know, remote moose, moose pasture in the middle of nowhere. Um, you know, platinum, palladium are, are, are metals that are just booming and zooming right now. And uh, again, go to, go to the website, look at the presentation, look at the fact sheet. Uh, they have an IR uh, contact, but you know, clean air metals, OTC in the US and Toronto TSX Venture uh, up in Canada. Uh, thank you, Abraham, and we wish you well. Thank you, Byron. Appreciate the time. Okay.